Look at him. He's so strong. Look at him. He's very. He's a ball with wings. I actually have one of those guys. Check out. Look at my little friend. Wow! 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 I really wanted Meta Knight, and uh, of course, in America, Nintendo doesn't care about us, and um, they are all sold out. So I had to have my friend who lives in Seattle, who I'm actually working on a song with. Um, get me, import one for me from Japan. Because I was like, I need Meta Knight, I don't care. And I'm not buying it from an American scalper, ever. Ever. I feel like, if you buy more than 30 amiibos, ever, like, of the same one, hell, if you buy, like, five or more of the same one, there should be people waiting for you outside of GameStop to just take them all. Sorry, sir, you exceeded your amiibo quota. And, uh, you have to surrender your amiibos or get your butt kicked. Honestly, if we can speak, if I could speak candidly publicly on the internet to you, all of you guys, I think that the retailers need to just impose a limit on how many people can buy, at least per day, so that you don't have guys camping out at, at one in the morning, getting to the store as soon as it opens and buying all the Rosalinas. Because they're just making people pissed off, and it's enabling the scalper culture, which is gross. I mean, I guess that, you know, retailers just want to, you know, make their money and stuff. But I feel like if you imposed these restrictions that would, like, make a nicer culture, scalpers wouldn't be able to scalp, people would be able to get the toys they want. People would be more happy going to your store. They'd have positive interactions at GameStop, at Target, rather than, like, waiting in a mob to get, you know, the Kirby's or whatever. Which just makes everybody upset. And that upsetness, I think, it ripples out. Well, this concludes talking serious with Cutman. I'm sorry that that happened. Tyson says Nintendo's been bad about not producing enough product. Well, what I hear is that Nintendo is kind of pissed off in America because, if you recall, everybody made fun of the Wii U for its first two years. And it wasn't until Mario Kart came out that everybody, and E3 this year, that everybody, um, everybody was like, oh shit, we use awesome. But like, they're kind of being like, well, these are, Americans are fickle customers that, uh, like to bitch, and like, honestly, we do. We love to complain, and I think it's pretty gross. Uh, I catch myself doing it too. I guess I'm kind of doing it right now. But, so they're a Japanese company, and they're taking care of Japan. They're taking care of their customers that are loyal, and don't whine when they don't get shit, and, um... And why shouldn't they? Because they get, you know, go to a GameStop. How big is the Nintendo section? It's like a closet. And then you have walls of Xbox, and you have walls of PS4, and PS3, and Xbox One, and 360, and then there's, like, the little Nintendo corner. So, like, why would they? Why would they, you know, as a Japanese company, bust their butt? For us Americans, when we don't treat the company well, when they don't respect, you know, that they've been doing this stuff for over a hundred years. People saying, oh, Nintendo's dead, is just ridiculous, because they've been, they've been in business longer than any of us have been alive. So, that's what we get. We're being little shits on the internet, and then, you know, the company that makes the stuff we finally want is like, I don't want to deal with these guys. And I don't blame them, honestly, I don't. Um, I want more Amiibos, <laughs> I do, but I'll just wait until they come back out, or I'll make a pre-order on Amazon or something. Ready, go. Nintendo is definitely not dead. Anybody who thinks that is like just a hundred percent wrong. And they're killing it this year. Oh my gosh. With this, with Smash, with Mario Kart, the Amiibo craze, yeah, it's frustrating for all of us that want them, but hey, all of us want them. And if you have a company and you're constantly sold out of product all over the country, that is a win. That's a big win. And could they be producing more? Yeah, totally. But I feel like the way they're seeing it is they don't want to risk producing too much on the fickle American audience. Because if they're all sold out, that's great. If they have, you know, a warehouse of 40,000 villager amiibos that nobody wanted, that, that could be a serious cost. So I guess Serious Time of Cutman didn't end, sorry. I have, feel like I've been playing better since I started, since I stopped trying to figure out Mewtwo's moves are, and started talking about something that matters to me, which is weird. Oh, Duck Hunt. I love Nintendo though, I really do. I feel like they're the only company that is putting out games 
that work all the time. Oh man, I would be, I, I have some poor friends who are hit with that Watch Dogs bugs, and they basically just about quit video games altogether when that happened. Lost 40 hours of gameplay because they went into the wrong room, oops, and saved. Magmas <laughs> saying, do not upload this stream to YouTube because Nintendo will claim it. I don't know. I think this is a good, uh, I think this has been a good stream. I like what I'm saying. And if Nintendo's going to collect, um, the tiny amount of ad revenue that I get off my Cutman Plays channel for the new Smash Brothers game, then fine. I just want to produce good content. And hey, if I can't make a dollar this year on this video, that's okay. I'm almost happy for Nintendo to get that dollar. I kind of think that Content ID is like a kind of a great thing. Uh, granted, it's not great when like record labels and stuff abuse it, but the idea behind it is like, oh, somebody used somebody else's content to make a great video, and YouTube's setting it up so that revenue doesn't just get claimed, it'll get like split. I think it's awesome, I really do. I have faith in the world, you guys, I do. And I know it's kind of rare these days, but I really think that if we all just Keep track of the shit that we do. Uh, things are gonna start getting better. I really do. I really, really do. And it's hard sometimes, you know, to not be a troll when you're mad. But if you can withstand it, it's like just less trolling in the world. Just less shittiness. Alex, you're the nicest person in the world. <laughs> I am an optimist, but Adaris, I'm a professional musician. I have to be. Oh my god, what a cool trophy! Oh, so cool! Oh, yay. Wow, I have not beaten that mode with a lot of critters yet. I got Dark Pit, really? And, um... Wow, the trophies you get for winning that mode is sweet! Oh, I don't want to do this again. Oh, it's a different one, though. Oh, please have Mewtwo be doing yoga. Please be what that picture is. I'm facing the other way. I want to know what the picture is for the first time. Oh. I'm just like scrubbing away. Only six composers for the whole game. Is that crazy, right? There's so much good music. Oh, wait. I think I got the soundtrack, actually. I need to check into that. Because I have an unfortunately pretty disorganized wall of CDs. I need to... I got all my projects, though. All my Game Chops, like, record label to-do stuff done recently. What is happening in this picture? You two look scared. Dr. Mario's like, take your medicine. It smells like delicious breakfast foods in my house. It's killing me. Okay. What? I, I, I've like unlocked 95% of the picture. I still have no idea what's happening. Oh, we're almost at the end. I recognize the music cues. So we Fit Man is sad. He's, he's holding Mewtwo, and Mewtwo doesn't want to take his medicine. What is happening? What is happening? What is that a picture of? What is it? I don't get it. Mario's like, I took so many of these, I cannot see. We Fit Trainer's like, take your medicine. And he's like, I don't want to get in that capsule. It's too big. And we Man Trainer is like, nobody listens to me. 